Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms XF. Since last time I went back into the Deserters Camp and I grabbed the treasure chest in there, which is the Power Charm, which is, uh, you know, it's a better armor for the Sacred Slayer. So, you know, it's there. If you want it, get it. If you don't, no big deal. Whoa, what was that? What was that sensation? Did something happen? I don't know, just my imagination? This is a wasteland. The life force has seeped from the earth, reducing it to a barren desert in which no sprout can take hold. Fortunately, due to the blessing of the Guardians, you don't see many places like this in Elysius. Guardians? I've heard of those. They're divine entities whose strength sustains the kingdom of Elysius, right? Yeah, essentially. I'm surprised that you knew that. My mother devoted herself to finding a way to restore life to Fulgaia. She pursued a great many legends about the Yggdrasil system, said of the power to bring abundance to withered land. We chased that goal together throughout Fulgaia, and heard a great many stories along the way. I think that's how I first learned about the Guardians. I see. But if I may point out a slight error in your understanding, the power of the Guardians is not actually restricted to the Kingdom of Elysius. The power of the Guardians extends to other lands? The power of the Guardians forms a network of ley lines that sustains the whole of Fulgaia. The special blessing that makes the Kingdom of Elysius exceptional does not come from the Guardians directly. It comes from the Princess Mediums of Elysius, who share a spe special empathy with the Guardians. Princess Mediums? The ability to communicate with the Guardians has been passed down through the blood of the women of the Elysian royal line. All princesses of Elysius have the potential to access it. The power of the Princess Mediums has helped Elysius prosper for centuries, but... What is it? A year and a half ago, the unthinkable occurred. It was at the Rite of Divine Coalescence. That's the ritual in which a princess of House Elysius forms a bond with the Guardians. But this time, the girl emerged from the ritual without any trace of a princess medium's power. That girl was Alexia, the late Princess Royal of Elysius, who was assassinated by the Council shortly thereafter. Your Highness! Miss Wordsworth! We're surrounded by monsters, and it looks like a pretty tough breed! In this empty wasteland, I guess predators can't afford to be picky when choosing their prey. Uh-oh. Yeah. This is a pretty short act, I guess. You know, there's no really four cutscene, and then we just go straight here, and then... Hey, battle. And not even like a plot battle, it's just monster battle. Okay, so we have the Rhinoceri and the Gremlkins, a simple but dangerous mixture. The Rhinoceri are lumbering, thick-skinned animals, but Gremlkins are nimble and strong against magic attacks. So they must be tackled in two completely different ways. We'll need to party with two sub-squadrons, one to dispatch the Rhinoceri, and another to handle the Gremlkins. The area is stalking grounds for a wide variety of monsters, I would surmise. But we could have other monsters show up in the middle of battle. Make sure you have ample healing supplies at hand. This could prove to be a long engagement. Okay, well, let me set up my party, and I'll see you in a minute. Got everything all sorted out. Clarissa is a Sacred Slayer with Elementalist. Uh, Phileas is a Halbergier with Fantastica. Labyrinthia is a Sacred Slayer with Arcanist. And Levin is a Martial Mage with Elementalist. And David is a Sacred Slayer with Elementalist. And I also have Ken as a Sacred Slayer with Elementalist and Fantastica. And where possible, I wanted Elementalist equipment for the magic bonus. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do this. Okay, we can use lock-on command, which I probably will never use, so we'll see. Basically, all this is saying is whenever you attack a monster, you can choose to not attack it, and um, then have the ability to lock on whenever the next guy attacks it for a higher amount of damage, which is kind of useless, to be quite honest with you. So anyway, with Levin, let's move him over here. And I don't think I can blast anything right now. Right now, all we're going to do is spread our characters out. We're not going to worry about really just hitting anything, because we really can't right now. Uh, go ahead and rush him. And we want three to head up this way, and three to head up the other way. So we'll have... Oh, I thought that you had... Okay, well, hang up there. And let's see, if I have you, you... Let's have you go this way, since you have the... Wait, yeah, you have the Fantastica, so I want you to go... Ooh! Ooh, a widespread fan... Yeah, that's really nice. Awesome. I didn't even think about that. 
Okay, we want to use spells against those silver guys and physical attacks against the other ones. So let's have her go this way. She's going to go as slow as humanly possible, as usual. And just hang out there. You're fine. And then these guys will come down towards us. So, yeah, it's going to take a while. That's why I made Levin be Martial Mage, so that hopefully at least I can have him go up there and start blasting the crap out of some of these guys. He is really good. So there we go. Awesome. We already have him halfway up the frickin' stage. And like nothing else, is, nobody else can do anything. So get her over here, and... Uh, I want her to warp so that she can head over this way on the right-hand side while Levin deals with the, uh, the top left-hand side. Anything else? No, we're good. And it's gonna be slow going, but, you know... It is what it is. Not too concerned about it. Uh, no, because you, you can rush. So, you're already rushed. Everybody else is rushed. We're good. And then, these slow asses down here are just going to have to take their time and do whatever they do. Uh, let's see. Can, can I rush you? You need to be rushed, actually. And you're already rushed. So, yeah. Let's rush you. Awesome. And let's go ahead and... I kind of feel like, yeah, let's kill you. Okay, so we'll kill you. Awesome. And then hopefully Labyrinthia can kill these other guys over there, as well as Phileas. Yikes! Yeah, Petrify sucks. Once you're petrified, um, what will happen is you will, um... Hmm, I still can't get him. Once you're petrified, um, if you get hit by another physical attack, you will die. So you can either wait it out and it will go away, or you can use a Pygmalion if you want to bring a Gadgeteer and that will cure the Petrify status. I'm just going to hope that it misses me and call it a day. So keep on going. I wonder, do I? I do. Oh, but it's not as good as Blast. Yeah. Okay, so Levin's just going to blast the crap out of these guys. Awesome. And then this Grimmelkin will deal with whenever the time comes. I'm not going to worry about him. Yeah, and they miss. It's perfect. Okay. Hopefully now I can get these guys. Can I get them? Can I get them? Awesome. Yeah. So I can start blasting this guy. Um, yeah, the elemental spells aren't as good as the non-elemental spells. That's why I wanted to bring Levin in as a, um... Let's see, he's rushed. He's rushed. Are you rushed? Can you rush yourself? That sucks. That's why I wanted to bring Levin as a martial mage and Labyrinthia as an arcanist, so, because they have their non-elemental spells. And they're really, really good. Uh, let's see, we'll put you here, and just start hitting this guy, but let's see, Shockwave 62, 44, how much does a regular hit to? 44. Well, then we're going to use Shockwave for that 62. There we go, awesome. Now, these guys are a pain in the ass because of this blood-sucking counterattack. Whenever you hit, they will absorb um, MP or HP back from you, so it makes them even harder than they really should be. Only 60 with the lightning. Oh, that sucks. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, so go ahead and blast him. And hopefully you can... Are you rushed? I think that you are rushed. I hope you're rushed. You are not rushed. You suck. Um, yeah. There we go. And I didn't want to use the, the widespread there because then it would have hit Labyrinthia, so you just hit the triangle button, and that makes it go to a single target rather than a multi-target. Ooh, there's that Tarask. He's like pretty much your boss of the, uh, of the battle. He has a ton of HP. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start moving Levin closer over here so that he can start kicking ass and taking names. As well he should. Oh, I'm still not close enough. I have to go one more. Oh, I don't really want to go this high. That's pretty dangerous, but... Eh, it is what it is. He should be fine, especially because I have two Sacred Slayers down there that can heal him if need be. Which might have to be, but we'll see. I think that he's rushed. He is. Good. So, let's see. Since he's rushed, yeah, we can kill this guy. Awesome. Take care of him. They don't have any elemental weaknesses. Everything affects them equally. So there's that to uh, keep in mind, I guess. Okay. Awesome. And these guys, these Gremlkins, are not as much of a pain in the ass as the uh, 
the Rhinoceri because the Rhinoceri, whenever you hit them, they will, um, oh, you know what? Let's get, our, let's get us both rushed if I can. When you hit an, a Rhinoceri with a physical attack, what will happen is it'll only deal one damage to them. But whenever you hit a uh, Grimalkin with a magic attack, it'll still do roughly 20 damage to them. So, there is a big difference there. Awesome. Two hits. Eleven's getting rid of these guys. Yeah, Eleven is your main damage dealer here with Labyrinthia in a close second. Hopefully, hey. Labyrinthia can take care of this guy. Here goes. Or at least Clarissa or somebody. Come on. Somebody do something here. Ugh, this sucks. Um, yeah, just head over this way, Clarissa. You can't do anything. You suck. Uh, can you heal? Yeah, just heal her up. It's something to do. It's really, with this point, once we get the Sacred Slayers, it makes it so that the battles can be longer, because before this, battles were not this long. It was just, you know, they just weren't, because you didn't have a healer. You know, it just it, it was what it was. Uh, we can Sanctify this guy for 20, we can hit it with a Freeze for 17, so Sanctify is probably the way to go, but I think what I'm going to actually do is Fragile him, so that any other future spells will be able to do a lot more damage to him. Uh, and Blast is non-elemental, so Fragile with a Blast, 91 damage to the Duvious Grimalkin. Oh, I really should have moved him away. Yeah, that would have been a smart thing. Uh, ugh. How much does Sanctify do? Okay, so just... Yeah, just light... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna Lightning him. I am going to warp on out of here to go over here, so I can start contributing damage over there. That way, Clarissa and Felius can and take care of this guy. Ooh, it looks like Felius can just take care of it himself. Awesome. And Clarissa will be useless as usual. Uh, let's see. Can I just do that? I can crush him for some damage. Uh... Yeah, that's what you're going to have to do. Are you rushed? I don't think that you are. No, you're not. Okay, so you're not rushed, so just crush him. That sucks. But the other one is rushed. Yeah, y you can't even rush yourself if you wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy with the blast. There we go. And then Levin's going to start working on the big guy while the other guys take care of the smaller fries. Uh, healing. Anybody need it? Do you need it? Sure, why not? You got nothing else to do, Clarissa. And you. Yeah, you're gonna start take care of that small guy right there, so just start freezing him up. And then the Trask should start heading our way, and he is about 300 HP. And it will take quite some time to uh, whittle that down. And he has the hard attribute. So that's why I brought Infelius as a Halbergier, because he is able to uh, deal damage to to enemies that have a hard attribute. Um, yeah, use it on, on Labyrinthia, because she has Lightning, which is also non-elemental, and that will be really nice against the uh, Tarrasque. That treasure chest, by the way, is completely useless. It only has... Yeah, see, if you do a physical attack, it'll only deal one to him, so I'm not going to worry about it. It only has... Um, what is it? A uh, an antidote in it, which I do not care about at all in the slightest. So let's see. Get him over there and start. Oh, I can't get a blast on him. That sucks. Oh well. Okay. Well then, if you can't get a blast on him, just hang out. Hang out. And wait. You'll be fine. Can I do a lightning? No. Uh, that sucks. Um. Yeah. Just go ahead and get closer up here. Unless you know what? Actually, let's get. Let's make sure that she can get in a hit next turn. So I'm gonna warp over here next to um, next to Levin so that both of them can just start blasting the crap out of this guy. Oh, Clarissa, 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 you suck. Um, yeah, heal them up, whatever. Might as well, nothing else to do. You, yeah, let's get a Fragile in on the Tarrasque. So whenever uh, the guys start dealing with him, I'll be able to deal a lot more damage to him. Okay, so let's put Levin over here. Yeah, hopefully he should be safe over here and start blasting him. Awesome. I wonder if it cancels strike. 
Let's try it. Let's try a cancel strike. I I didn't try it in my test run, but we'll see what, what the accuracy is on it. 80%. Okay. I can deal with an 80 Awesome! Yeah, this is gonna be great! He's not even gonna get a turn. It's gonna be perfect! And then these guys will take care of this moron. Eventually, it'll take forever. And also, because Levin is behind him, um, I can also use... Um, Ooh, 57 damage because it ignores the hard attribute. Sweet. Um, yeah, do another cancel strike. Keep on canceling that turn, Levin. Awesome. And let's see. Kill this guy. Come on. It shouldn't take this long. My god. Oh, as far as his hard attribute weapon, the, uh, th the one that ignores the hard attribute, if you use an original with it, it will not ignore the hard attribute. It only ignores the hard attribute whenever you attack with a regular physical attack, which really kind of sucks, I've got to say, but, you know, it is what it Stay is. Stay focused so, on what's ahead. Yeah, let's do this. It's going to be great. Awesome. 117 damage. Sweet. And then get a lightning on the guy for about 60 damage. Yeah, this would be great. How much life does he have left? Oh, sweet. I'm not going to bother canceling his turn because he's not going to get a turn soon until he's dead. Dead on arrival with this guy. Yeah. Easy enough. And I will not be getting that treasure chest off screen because it is just an antidote and I do not care. Ooh, we got a lucky card. Sweet. Oh, it's time for evil people talk. So what's the new project you, product you're peddling? You always come up with such dangerous toys. In developing it, I used all the materials that you so generously entrusted with me. Your procedures and rituals, your spells and incantations, they're all a part of this. If this toy is dangerous, it's largely due to your own contributions. How does the parable go? Even the mightiest lion can be felled by the lowliest worm? All the worm needs to do is work its way in undetected and devour the beast from within. And it's not just the beast that's devoured. When no one knows who's carrying the parasite, it breeds suspicion and a distrust of all. Bonds of friendship and unity are often consumed as well. Have you made all the preparations? The product has already been placed in the vicinity of Chevrolet Blanc. Excellent work. I hope the final field test will serve as an adequate demonstration of the product's capabilities. If it meets your expectations, I'd be most eager to discuss future business plans with you. We cannot entrust the future of Elysius to a princess who failed the rite of divine coalescence. Traditions must be honored. I trust you can encourage her to step down from the stage? It's my pleasure to comply. I don't see any signs of monsters anymore, but we still shouldn't let down our guard. Your Highness, I'll go scout out the area ahead. Hey, how did this area become such a wasteland? I've heard that there was a massive battle here a long time ago. A war, really. A war. The devastation caused by the powerful weapons of that era sapped the Earth of its vitality. Clarissa, take a look at this. That's a broken arm, a relic of the ancient battle waged here long ago. Your Highness! It's him! It's that guy from before! You! Well, we meet again. My, that arm you have there is nearly 200 years old. You don't see a model like that too often. I imagine it would fetch a high price from a collector. Do you know a lot about arms? I suppose I know a little bit more than most, but surely you know a whole lot more about them than I. Alexia Lynn Elysius, Princess Royal of the Kingdom of Elysius. <gasps> I don't remember introducing myself to you. The princess is actually still alive. She leads an army called Chevalet Blanc. Chevalet Blanc is at war with the Marshal Guard. In every city and town, the gossip is the same. Everyone knows it by now. And to think, I just happened to run into the woman who's the talk of all Elysius. Can you believe that? Now, are you really the princess? If you are, I've been quite rude. I really should introduce myself. My name is Ragnar, Ragnar Blitz Lebret. 
Just an ordinary drifter who's never far from a battlefield. Don't you mean Ragnar McRyan from Erland? Must be my mistake. Okay, well, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms XF, we'll learn more about Ragnar McRyan from Berland, and we'll head to Richala Rose finally. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.